Hello, I am making this vlog to just report that um, Frida crossed the Rainbow Bridge tonight. She died in my sister's arms at about 12.55 a.m. this morning. And, so, and it's February 14th, 2023. So... Diego died October 24th, 2000, yeah, October 24th, 2021. Oscar died August 15th or 14th, 2022. And now Frida has gone on and crossed the Rainbow Bridge and followed in their suit on February 14th, 2023. That's a year and a half since Diego died. And my sister is devastated. I mean, she had three dogs die within a year and a half. And uh, <clears throat> she's beyond sad. And I don't know what I'm going to do to comfort her when I go over there tomorrow morning because I have to take Frida's body to uh, the vet. And <clears throat> so I'm just going to have to console her. My poor sister. My poor sister. I'm very sad. It's just that it's very hard for me to cry anymore because I've, I've shed so many tears in my lifetime. I've had so much pain in my life that I usually just go numb instead of crying. And so I'm sad, but I can't cry. I'd love to. I'd love to get it out, but I can't. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm sure I'll cry when I see her little body. And I'm going to take some clay over there so I can get a paw print if my sister lets me. I may not do that in front of my sister. She's already upset. She's already way too upset. But for those of you who prayed for Frida or kept her in your thoughts and prayers, or kept her in your thoughts, or any positive vibes, or did anything positive with regards to Frida. Thank you so very much. She was a special, special little dog. No, <laughs> no other dog was such a delicate flower. Everything, everything. She was such a little... She was definitely a female dog. She was definitely female. She's a very, very feminine dog. Like, I can't know. Don't get me dirty. Don't, no, no. And, uh, no, I can't possibly do that. No. Uh, I can't go outside in the dark. Not by myself. <laughs> she was so cute. She was so cute. And the thing that I always did, and I know I recorded it, but what I always did with her is I would say, I love Frida. I love Frida. And she'd be looking away. And then uh, I'd just say it a few times, and then she'd look at me, and she'd give me lots of puppy kisses, lots of Frida kisses. <clears throat> That's how I, I could always get her to pay attention to me, by saying that to her. I love Frida. I love Frida. And, um, you know, she was a happy little dog. She was a very happy little dog. She suffered when Diego died. I mean, she was very upset and sad for a very long time. And then Oscar came into her life and made her happy again. And then he died. And it took her a while to get over that, but she was okay. She was okay. She was okay. And 
you know, dancing with me. I discovered she danced and we would dance a little music and everything, or I'd make up a, a little beat and we danced to it. She was so cute, but she couldn't dance, dance like free Fiona could dance, but, uh, Frida wasn't quite sure what she was doing. So she would just put one paw up and one paw down like that, just up and down. Like she was, uh, walking in place or marching. That's what she did. She was so cute. I loved her so much. I loved Frida. And she was like, when my sister first um, adopted her, she had all kinds of problems because, you know, I don't know how they treated her, but from what I heard, she wasn't treated well as a puppy. And so I knew she was getting over the, the pain and I could relate to that pain because that was when I first started uh, the vlog. And well, that was before I started the vlog, but it was around that time. And I was in a lot of pain and I had suffered my entire life. And so I could relate to her pain. I could. And she was my favorite dog, even though Diego was so cute. I really had a place in my heart for Frida because I could relate. And lucky for her, she had Diego. She had my sister. She had a backyard, plenty of fresh water, nice food, lots of walks, lots of walkies. And uh, me, <laughs> I loved her. The family loves her. You know, holiday gatherings and all of that. She had my mother. Oh, she was attached to my mother. Like I said in a different vlog, when she came over here, she really would just, like, go to my mother, you know? And <clears throat> it wasn't until the last few times that she actually came to me. Like, I'd have her in the bed, but she'd get up and go to see my, uh, my mother because she loved my mother. You know, and she would ignore me when my mother and I would first walk into my sister's house if my mother was there, okay, when my mother was there. But when I was by myself, it was all about me, you know. So, you know, that little doggy, she was so cute. Oh, my goodness. And it does feel like now that Diego's gone, now that... um. Now that Diego's gone, now that uh, Oscar's gone, and now that Frida's gone, it really does feel like the end of an era. It does. So, once again, thank you to everyone who prayed for any of them, who kept any of them in your thoughts and prayers. And thank you for any positive, anything you did for any of them. And I'm going to say one last prayer. Well, I pray for them all the time, but I'm going to pray the prayer I normally pray for Frida. <clears throat> Jesus, God, and Holy Spirit, I humbly ask that you please take Frida into your kingdom. And I humbly ask that you please take away any and all trauma. And I humbly ask that you please allow her to live in your glory for all eternity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Well, I prayed for them, and I thank everyone who prayed. And anything you did that was positive. Thank you so very much. And it's going to take some getting used to, but I will. All right. And I, please pray for my sister. She's devastated. All right. And on that note, I'm going to end this vlog. And I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow and things go your way. All right. Bye.